Foot is a naturally text that appears at the foot of every page. To insert a footer, we go to the Insert tab in the ribbon, and we click the button Footer. There are a number of built-in footers, but I just want to choose Edit Footer. I'm immediately taken to the First Page Footer, Section 1. Earlier I took the option Different First Page, so what I put in the First Page Footer for Section 1 can be different from the rest of the footers in Section 1. I actually want to leave this footer blank, so I'm going to go Next, which is a button up here in my Header and Footer Tools Design tab. When I click Next, I'm now in the footer for Section 1, that is, all the other pages except the first page. Now what I put in the footer I want to be centred, so I'm going to press Ctrl E for centre. Ctrl C is Copy, so Microsoft took the second letter in the word Centre and made Ctrl E Centre. Now the sorts of things that you can put into a header and footer are varied and, and, and wide. The first and most common would be the date and time. You have got a button up here, date and time, and if I click it, you've got options. You can choose any date format that you like, any time format that you like, or any combination of date and time. You can make it that once you insert it, it no longer changes, or you can make it a field that automatically updates. So tomorrow it will say the 13th and the next day it will say the 14th and you can get the date to update. Alternatively there are some shortcut keys. I can for example press Alt Shift D and that will insert the date. If I press the space bar and go Alt Shift T that will insert the time. Now if I go Alt F9 that lets me see the code and the code tells me that these will update and Alt F9 turns off the code which we looked at when we did a table of content. I'm going to backspace those options out and I'm going to use the date and time button and I'm going to go for this option here actually this one here and update automatically and OK. So you have options. I'm then going to press Enter to come down a line what I'd then like to do is put in some page numbering. Now also you've got a shortcut key combination for page numbering. Alt-Shift-P. Alt-Shift-P puts in a page number. So in the front of that we could have typed the word page in a space. And there it would number each of our pages. But what I want to see is actually page 2 of and the total number of pages. So instead of that I might delete that. And instead I might go to the page number button and in the current position where I am at the moment I have a choice of all these different types of page numbering. And there is X of Y, page 1 of 1. I'm going to click that. And so that says page 2 of 8. So you've got various page numbering options as well. Now under that I'll press enter. I might want to see the name of the file and where it's saved. Those particular types of fields are actually under Quick Parts. If I go to the Quick Parts button, you'll see that there's a Field button. And if I go into Field, there are a whole lot of fields that you can insert into a header or a footer or actually anywhere in a document. For example, you can insert the date the document was created in whatever format you'd like. Or you might choose Today's Date in whatever format you like. And while we're on the topic of dates, there is actually the date it was last saved. Save date. And there's also print date, the date it was last printed. So there's four types of date fields. Looking back through the list again, not only is there create date and today's date, but there's also things like edit time, the total document editing time in minutes the amount of time they spent making changes. And here's the file name, the name of the file, the document's name, and its location. And whether you want it in uppercase, lowercase, or title case, or just the first capital. And I'll have lowercase. And OK. So there's the name of the file, long header footer dot doc, and where it's stored. Now other fields in there, quick parts and field, include things like last saved by. 
What is the name of the person who last saved the document? Other options include number of words. If you've got a word restriction, it'll tell you the number of words in the document. And you've also got things like revision number, the number of times the document's been saved with changes. And you've even got how many pages in a section. So there's all sorts of fields available in here that you can insert anywhere in your document. And if I was to go Alt F9 again to view the field code, there's the code there. And Alt F9 again to turn it off. Now I want this header to be the same throughout the entire document, so I can just stop there. Because if I go next, the next section is the same as the previous section. And so is the next section, and the next, and so on. So I only have to set up the footer in the, in the footer for section 1, and all the other sections will carry it through. So then I close the header and footer. And there's my footer and my header.